sometimes, and this is where I had it wrong, some people don't understand that just because you marry a person doesn't mean you have them all figured out. And it doesn't mean they don't have, they have you figured out. You know, there's so many things. There's your spirituality, there's relationships, there's, there's, there is your mental health, your financial health. What is that gonna look like? And it's difficult to, to master all those different things when you're going, I'll work on finance, finances this week and then next week I'll work on my mental health and then the week after that I'll work on fitness. It's a balance within all of it. It's just all a balance. And I bet you I found where I needed to go without the help of GPS, because I've gotten nice with it. I have a good sense of direction. I will give myself that. Did I always? Mm, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can get turned around just like anybody else. I didn't, you know, create this place that I'm in, but I've gotten accustomed to where things are. And, um, or, you know, how things should kind of flow. So, anywho, knowing that one of the things that really helped me is knowing that every day is not going to be a great day because guess what? Everything wasn't a great day before polygyny. It's just not how human beings are set up or built. We go up and down, in and out of happiness, and I've repeated it before in videos because I do believe that some think or they're, they're under this assumption that polygyny should be perfect, although monogamy is not perfect, although life is not perfect, although people are not perfect. And because of that, they get upset at the, at the, the least little bit of, or side of trouble. It's like, look, and you, look, you were married to an imperfect person before that imperfect person married another imperfect person while he's married to you as an imperfect person. So to, to have the assumption that everything's going to be smooth, that's delusional. That's not how it's going to be. And you can't be stretched if you are in a place where you're 100% comfortable all the time and you don't experience growth ever. Sometimes, and this is where I had it wrong, some people don't understand that just because you marry a person doesn't mean you have them all figured out. And it doesn't mean they don't have, they have you figured out because you're ever changing. If you're living constantly in the space that you're living now, you're always changing. And we got to honor that change, even though it might not be designed how we thought it was going to be in our lives. It might have come a whole nother way. One of my greatest challenges was to be a wife and a mother because that was going to stretch me because I had to learn so much stuff to love more than just myself, to love more than just the people that raised me, to love more than just my husband. Then I had to love my daughter because our first child was a daughter, was a girl. Um, and then another girl, and then another girl, and then another girl. <laughs> so that's kind of how that went. Uh, we were very blessed. However, I had to find room for her, and then room for another daughter, and then room for another daughter, and room for another. So I had to constantly be stretched and educating myself to become better. So when polygyny entered my life, I'm speaking personally, then I had to do more. Did I sign up for it? No. But I was certainly not going to put it in my mind that I wanted to be. And this is this is coming from me. A complete failure in it. I didn't want my children to see it as a complete failure. I still don't want them to. I don't want to think of it as a fail. 
I'm looking at it as how can I grow within this? How can I become better within this? Assalamu alaikum. Peace. I'm Coach Fatima, one of the co-founders of Outstanding Personal Relationships. And I'm here to talk to you about the Nourishing Fulfillment Counseling Program. What I do is help women from all walks of life obtain information in the areas of relationship wellness, emotional resilience, self-confidence, and inner discovery for best results for their future success. Growth is about implementation for best practices, for best results for your future. So the Nourishing Fulfillment Counseling Program is here for you to help you kind of weed through some of those negative thoughts of self-limiting beliefs so that you can move forward and attain your goals so that you live a truly fulfilling life. So if you wanna join me for my Nourishing Fulfillment Counseling Program, be sure that you visit me at coachfatima.com for details and start your nourishing fulfillment counseling session today. I'll see you and I look forward to working with you. Assalamu alaikum. Peace. Okay. How can I do that? That's out of my control. If coach and I, they're married again, that's not, that's not within my control. Where I can control things is on my end. And then I could put some input in there. And then I can give some support. And if I have a concern or if I need a support and I have a support request, then I will lodge it as such. But to think I control anything outside of who I am and who I want to be, I don't have that privilege. And I really don't want it. I'm not the one that wants that. I don't want that attribute. Oh, I control it. I'm running it. You know, nothing happens without no movement without me knowing what's going on. No, mm -mm, no, no, I like my lane just like I like it right now because I don't have to worry about anybody hitting me head on because I'm not veering into violent traffic and doing all this extra stuff. If I feel as though I'm having a bad day personally, I'll go read. And one of the main things that I do, um, I always had a gratitude journal, but one of the main things that I do now is 100% when I'm in a, a funk or in a mood or whatever it is, or I'm starting to feel a little bit too ungrateful for my liking, then I'll go, uh-uh, no, we're not doing this. You're going to go sit down and you're going to write down something that you're grateful for today. That's what you're about to go do. And you're about to go do it and get it done. And I do it. I handle it. Because nobody knows I'm feeling that but me, unless I'm violent with it and go, you know what? No, no, that's something that I have to deal with. So it's, it's in me to get it out of me. So I'll go find something to be grateful about. I don't care if I had a good breakfast, it's going in that book. It's going in that journal. So I would want everybody to find something healthy to do, something healthy that makes you feel good in the moment when you don't feel the best. Find a way to be grateful in those moments. So I just wanted to share that with you all because I've been asked and I've been asked relatively recently about it. Now, if you guys are not aware, make sure for some of you that are new, you pick up our polygamy boot camp by going to polygamybootcamp.com. This is a great course for if you're you're really new to polygyny. Um, we didn't have us back then. <laughs> we didn't have an OPR to go to, but we did a lot of research. We still are, we're still always students and we're coaches as well. And then you're also wanna, gonna pick up our polygamy roadmap at polygamyroadmap.com for details. It's an ebook. There's one for men and one for women. And if you're not following us on our social medias, why not? So make sure you follow us at Outstanding Relationships on IG and Outstanding Personal Relationships on YouTube and on Facebook. Hit the notification bell. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and share this video because sharing is caring. And you want to care about it, you know? Let's care about polygyny and let's open up these different conversations so it's not so hard to talk about. Because if, if it's difficult to talk about, it's because we're met with a lot of judgment and society um, 
societal norms. They don't like it. And we know what it is. But for those of you that enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a comment below and just put take time out. <laughs> take time out. OK, because everybody can't be up under everybody all the time. There's wisdom and having some space, having some alone time without making anybody else feel wrong. OK, so with that, I'm going to leave you guys with some GLC as I approach my next roundabout. <laughs> I'll try watch me work. Boom. Make sure you're growing intentionally, loving, fearlessly and connecting on a higher level every single day. Coach Fatima, I'll see you guys in the next one. Wee, salam alaikum. Peace.